Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to another weekly vlog. Um, right now it's 4.54 a.m. And I have a super busy morning because I'm leaving for Vancouver. Um, and I have a whole bunch of stuff to do this morning before I go. I need to water plants. I need to pack. I need to get ready. I wanted to pack some food to bring. I was up until like 11 30 p.m last night making sure all of my videos were ready until monday today's friday by the way um so i was just finishing editing and then i had to edit like four thumbnails i have two videos from my main channel that are going to be going up and then i have a video on my vlog channel and then i have a patreon video going up so i was just like so much um but i'm really glad that i did all that i feel like i can actually just like go away and not feel bad for like not posting or being a, being behind on work so yeah feeling good about that okay i'm gonna pour my coffee here okay i have so much stuff to do like i said so i will talk to you guys uh probably in a couple of hours It is Saturday morning. I am just in an Airbnb. It's super tiny. I have my bike there. I'm used to fitting my bike into small spaces and maneuvering around it though. Um, there's like a little kitchen out there. Last night was really fun. We went out for dinner and to a show. And um, oh, also yesterday we stopped at a thrift store and I found this. Oh my gosh. No. They left the security tag on it. Oh no! How do I get that off? The heck? Okay, well I'm gonna have to figure that out, but I got this really cute top. It's like a little crop long sleeve. I love it so much. I love striped tops. Um, Yeah, so this is super cute. I'm really glad that I found that. I'm just about to get ready for the day. Um, could have a shower and stuff. It's 8.53, so it's kind of late. I've already had breakfast and coffee and everything. Um, my lashes are crazy as well because they're on their last legs. So this is like getting to the phase where I'm looking like spider lash lady, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm really excited for today. I'm wondering what the weather is because all week it said it was supposed to rain today and I'm going to be biking pretty much all day, but I think it's changed a bit and it's not supposed to rain that much. So let's just cross our fingers for that. This is my outfit of the day. Very stylish, very cute rain jacket. I have two I have two shirts under here layered and then my rain pants and then I have cycling shorts under here in my socks so hopefully I'll be warm enough when we start and then I can take layers off and my little pigtails which are getting larger also, I painted my nails a couple of days ago. I'm really obsessed with blue right now. This shade is called Happy Birthday and it's from, it's one of my LA Nail Addict polishes. They have like a new website now though, so I can link it down below, but yeah, it's a gel polish. So hopefully it stays on for a while.
Okay, I am back from Vancouver. I got back last night and today I'm just trying to get my crap together because this is what I am dealing with. This is what happens when you live in such a small space. I mean, I can't always use that as my excuse, but there's nowhere to put anything. So I came home, I had a bunch of mail, so that's taking up like half my living room and then stuff that I had to bring in from my car to fit the stuff I wanted to bring on the trip and then all my clothes and everything that I need to unpack and put away so that's what I'm doing right now I also need to go around and water pretty much every single plant in this house plus my garden outside so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing today I'm hoping that I'll have time to film a video later as well because I had uh, a bunch of videos not a bunch I had like four videos pre-filmed but now I'm like kind of falling behind again. I ended up having to stay, let me flip this. I ended up having to stay an extra day because there was something going on that I'm not gonna get into, but basically that threw my week a day behind, um, but it's fine. I'm just gonna catch up now and all is well. The trip was really nice, it was fun to bike. I wish that I had like a GoPro or something so I could get some like nice footage because biking the seawall was so pretty. If you are in Vancouver, definitely do that bike ride. It was just, it was so great. I only had one almost fall the whole bike ride and it was when we were biking it was like pouring rain and then it was cobblestone and my wheel got stuck in the cobblestone so these are my injuries from that i got some bruises but i was able to catch myself before i completely wiped out in the middle of the road which is good i thought i was going to be vlogging a lot more in vancouver because i really wanted to go to the conservatory they have a conservatory with a bunch of cool plants it's like a rainforest climate um but then i found out that they have a bunch of tropical birds in there and long story short there just wasn't enough transparency about uh, wh where the birds came from the care like any <sighs> I'm just not comfortable with supporting anywhere that has animals in captivity unless it's like very clearly and transparently like a rescue or rehabilitation or something like that so it sucks because I just wanted to see the plants but unfortunately there was like a hundred tropical big birds in there so yeah I just I just wasn't comfortable with it so I didn't go but I really wish that there was like a botanical garden or something here that was just like filled with plants that would be super cool but I don't think there is unfortunately anyways I am going to get my house put together so I'll talk to you guys later Hello, I have styled my hair into this little 2000s kind of vibe, really digging it. Um, I wanted to show you my new jeans though. I've actually gotten a few new things and I've been, they're sitting in a pile so that I can show you before I put them away. So I'm gonna start with the jeans and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, so here's the jeans. They're just like a baggy, very ripped obviously high rise um little moment super cute super comfortable as well i always do like the squat test when i try something on um these are from urban outfitters we stopped there when um we we're in vancouver they are by bdg 
and they're just the high rise baggy so really loving these also got another pair of pants there this is a fun pair um but they're also like super comfortable so they're just these brown little checkered flares and these are so freaking cute they fit like a glove so i'm really excited to wear these and then this is actually from girlfriend girlfriend collective and this was an early birthday gift um so i didn't purchase this but i'm seriously obsessed i think this might be my favorite piece from girlfriend yet and it's just their skirt it's kind of wrinkled because it was in my suitcase and then sitting on the floor but i just got the plain black one obviously it fits so well and it's so comfortable it has little slits on the side and then of course just little shorts underneath i think i'm gonna be wearing this a ton this summer yeah very cute very versatile as well and then this i ordered about a week ago but i haven't shown you yet i got some foundation on it when we were in vancouver so i had to wash it yesterday and it's still kind of drying so it's a little wrinkled but it's just a little oversized um hoodie obviously honestly just a basic um i did kind of splurge on it though because i just wanted to get something that was going to be high quality comfortable have a really nice cut so that i can keep it for years and years and get really good use out of it so it is from aloe yoga um there's a little logo thing right there i hadn't purchased anything from aloe before and i'd really been wanting to just like try something out but it's so freaking expensive that I, it's definitely like a big splurge for me and I think it'll be a while before I get something else from them But I do really love this. It fits super cute. It's it's literally exactly what I wanted So I feel really good about this purchase um, I'll have to show it to you guys on the next time I'm wearing it because yeah, it's just very very cute super happy with that and Then oh, I want to show you my mug. It's got my milk in it right now. I'm just gonna make a matcha latte and I measure out the milk. Um, this is actually too much. I can drink some of this, but um, I got this mug from Urban Outfitters too, and it's just a little Gemini mug, and it's like this blue color that I'm super into lately. I'm obsessed with blue, especially this light kind of blue. It's not really reading super well on the camera, but it's just a light, like, I guess, like a very light, like, periwinkle, almost like Robin's egg kind of vibe, but more purplish. I don't know super cute um totally got sucked into buying this and what else i think that that's everything oh no it's not i did get i wonder if that's easily grabbable i did get this little just like plaid this is super random it was actually on sale because this is obviously more of like a winter thing this little flannel but i love wearing this as just like a little light jacket and just open like i don't like wearing it like an actual shirt with it buttoned or anything but i love it just and i got this oversized this is a men's medium so yeah it's super cute just as a little oversized like little jacket thing i was even wearing it with the skirt and a like oversized grungy tee really happy with that I bought like pants, like sweaters, jackets, because it's literally still winter here, you guys. Like, it's awful. And I looked until the end of May on the 14 day forecast, the temperature doesn't even go up past 14 degrees, I don't think. So it's like not even spring temperatures yet here. I have no idea what's going on. It's wild, very cold here. Um, so I really hope that June is gonna be warm. If it, if by the time it's my birthday, it's not warm yet, honestly, I pff, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I can't handle that. Drinking mango juice with my magnesium powder in it because it's so much better than mixing it with water. I also ordered some stuff for my plants. I guess I can show you quick, but I thought that we would install this stuff together later on today, but I'll quickly show you what I got. This stuff is all from Amazon. Um, this is a water filter for it just goes on to your faucet and this is mostly for my plants like i can drink out of it too obviously but i just wanted to experiment with watering my plants with filtered water and actually the bigger reason that i really wanted this is for my humidifier i'm gonna start filling my humidifier with um filtered water i think i've talked before about how I was just like getting anxiety from my humidifier because somebody commented that it's really bad to breathe in like tap water in a humidifier but people were commenting and saying that that's not true so i don't even know but 
anyways got the water filter also something i've been meaning to buy for literally years is the like handheld shower extension thing so i'm gonna be changing my shower head out i got plumber's tape apparently i need that literally i have no idea what i'm doing but hopefully it's easy and then i got another fan i think it's like pretty much the same as my fan i don't know if you'll be able to see as my fan right here but i just wanted one for my bedroom because i it's just so much better to have the air circulating it's so much better for the plants um it helps to prevent root rot and yeah it's just so much better for them to have air circulating so i got this one for my bedroom then i'll have a fan in both rooms so we will deal with this stuff later i'm gonna make my matcha latte i have to film um i have a lot of work to do so i'm probably just gonna be working most of the day and then i will catch up with you guys later Good morning. I am just making a cup of tea. I have already had a cup of coffee, so don't be fooled. But I'm really into tea lately, and I am drinking more, or sorry, I am drinking less tea because I, or wait, why can't I speak? I'm drinking less coffee because I've been drinking more tea, and I've just really been enjoying drinking tea as well. Mmm, this smells so good. This is a pine needle tea. Um, it's from the brand Glowing Truth, and I've been obsessed with their teas. This one has pine needles, star anise, fennel seeds, and thyme, and it's all organic and everything. And it came with this little reusable tea bag, like how cute. Yeah, I've really been loving this. I'm just tidying up right now. I kind of went to bed last night with my kitchen a huge mess because I was editing until like 9 p.m. So now I'm cleaning it up. I'm watching YouTube while I do that. I'm watching Christine Cobseth, I think, um, her newest vlog. I love her videos so much. So, oops, let me put my spoon back in there. I've had some cantaloupe and what else did I have? Cantaloupe and kiwi. Gonna have this tea and then I'm probably gonna make a smoothie after this. I did upload a video this morning so I'm just kind of responding to comments on that as well. Then I'm gonna do yoga and get ready and start working. Today's smoothie. This is my pumpkin seed protein, kale, frozen mango, blackberries frozen strawberry there's a banana in there there's also an avocado in there and some mango juice this is just going to be a mini garden update those are my strawberries these in the green things are my potatoes which are growing so fast and then right in here is my dahlia tuber which has just sprouted i was so excited i don't know if you can see but there's like a tiny tiny sprout in there and then of course my kale which has just been growing like an absolute beast look at how big those are i just gathered this kale from my kale plants outside and I feel emotional about it. Like, this is just so cool, being able to grow your own food. I'm going to make my favorite kale salad. I don't know why it makes me, like, so emotional. <laughs> Harvesting my first, the first thing I've ever grown that's edible. Like, that's so cool. I will not get over it. Look at how beautiful. I just wanted to share that little moment. You guys. I'm living my best life today. I don't even know, have I even spoken on here today except for about my kale? Um, so it's sunny out for one. It's supposed to be, I think like 13 or 14 degrees today, but tomorrow it's supposed to be all sunshine and 17 degrees, which is gonna be the warmest day yet this year. Um, I'm pretty sure, so I'm so excited for that. I think I'm gonna plant my herb garden tomorrow, so I can't wait. Um, so obviously I'm in a good mood. The sun has healed my soul. I'm literally solar powered you guys like I just do not do well without the sun um, So I'm sitting here with my very first kale salad that I made with my kale that I grew and I'm so excited about it Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to eat it. I was out of avocado So I put some hemp seeds instead and my soy curls were like the bottom of the bag so kind of a bunch of small little pieces but oh my goodness so proud of this so excited to eat this also have my kombucha 
I'm seriously just having a blast over here right now, you guys. A blast on my little lunch hour. I'm gonna watch this video about strawberries because I'm just so clueless and I have one strawberry plant and I need to learn about it. So that's what I'm doing. And then after this, I'm filming and then probably editing. Okay, I'm gonna taste test my first bite of kale. Oh my god. It's the best piece of kale I've ever had in my life. Oh my god, it's so good. This variety of kale that I'm growing is a lot like more tender than just like the curly kale that I get at the store. Yeah, this is divine. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this. Bye. It's Saturday, long weekend, and the first like warm day, well the second, I think we had another warm day like a month ago. If people aren't camping, they're doing their gardens today. So it is so crazy out, so busy. Just ran in and got some containers and things that I needed for my herb garden. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. And I'm eating my dried apple rods. We need to get the windows down up in here. So I just got like some pots and whatnot at Home Depot and now I'm gonna head to the garden center. I don't even know where I'm heading to, but I need to head somewhere where I can find organic plants to buy. I wanna do my herb garden today and maybe get another couple things. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but I'm so happy that it's sunny out today. I'm gonna try to do this quickly so I can get home, walk Olive and then um, plant my herb garden this afternoon. I found great success at the garden center. So I ended up going to Garden Works and I found almost everything I was looking for. The only thing I didn't find is basil, but I'll just grab that somewhere else. I have tons of beautiful herbs now. I got a little tomato plant and also another strawberry to go. I only have one and I want at least two. So I was able to find another seascape strawberry plant. Yeah, I'm so excited to get these all planted up. I am set up in bed actually just about to edit this vlog so I wanted to hop on and say thank you so much for watching I really wanted to install like my water filter and shower head and everything that I was talking about um, in this vlog but I think I'm gonna start the next vlog and include that in that one because I think it'd be fun to do a little like giving my plants a more bougie life little segment so I think I'm gonna do that it's 5 30 right now actually no it's 5 59 right now I've already made my coffee and taken all of out so yeah I want to get this video up um, the Sun is coming out today you probably can't see it just looks backlit look at how cute all my plants look though I love these hanging ones all right thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please make sure you're subscribed to my vlog channel if you don't want to miss more videos on here Okay, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!